Okay, so we're going to prove question 20A in Burton's Elementary Number Theory book, which states that if the GCD of A and B is equal to 1, and the GCD of A and C is equal to 1, then the GCD of A and BC is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and start this proof. Okay, so we're going to assume the GCD of A and B is equal to 1, and the GCD of A and C is equal to 1. So in the book, there's a theorem that's labeled 2.3 that states, so, um, well, let me go ahead and write this. So it states that if we have the GCD of A and B, we can always write that as a linear combination. So we have the GCD of A and B is equal to 1. So this implies that um, AX plus BY is equal to 1, where X and Y are just integers. Okay. Similarly with GCD of A and C, so GCD of A and C is equal to 1, implies that um, we can write AV um, or AU, that's what the book uses, AU plus CV is equal to 1, where U and V are integers. Okay? So, we know that AX plus BY is equal to 1, and AU plus CV is equal to 1. So, what we can do is we can, uh, we know that their product is equal to 1, right? So, this implies that AX plus BY times AU plus CV is equal to 1, right? Now let's go ahead and distribute. So this implies that A squared XU plus um, AC XV, uh, right? Plus ABYU plus B, C, Y, B is equal to 1, right? So now, remember, I want the GCD of A and B, C equal to 1. So I'm going to try to find that linear combination in here. So I know that these three terms have an A, so I'm going to factor out that A, and then I'll be left with A, X, U plus CXV plus BYU. And then um, I want that BC, so I'll do BC here. And then inside here, I'll do YB. And I know that is equal to 1. Notice A is an integer, X is an integer, and U is an integer, right? C is an integer, X is an integer, B is an integer. B is an integer, Y is an integer, and U is an integer. So we know that the sum in here is, in fact, an integer, right? And we also know that this here is an integer. So what I have here is a linear combination of A times an integer plus BC times an integer equals to 1. So by that theorem, I have that um, the GCD of A and BC is equal to 1, which is exactly what I wanted to show. That is the proof.